All right, I just wanted to show uh, this new little uh, rough draft outline that I made of the electromagnetic spectrum. I wanted to uh, show um, that instead of representing the frequencies of the colors uh, uh, like this in these examples of the electromagnetic spectrum, like... Uh, See how big that one is. Yeah, see, they show the the colors and the vibrations of the electromagnetic spectrum in these waves like this, with these squiggly lines, and they have these bars that represent uh, the the different levels of frequency of the colors of the electrons that uh, you're detecting in the radiation here. So uh, instead of having it um, laid out like this, I'm I'm showing in my little uh, diagram here that the uh, spectrum is uh, representing the orbits of the electrons that are around the nucleus, which is in the center there, and we see these orbits of these electrons. Uh, certain colors because um, they're electrons that are vi uh, vibrating or orbiting at different frequencies or electrons moving at different frequencies uh, like for example you could have electrons that are moving back and forth in an electrical circuit at a certain speed and if that certain speed might uh, matches the orbit frequency of uh, say an electron uh, that's orange. Then the color of the color of it'll be orange. It's it's kind of difficult to understand because you have to understand particle physics and how uh, this works. But the different or these electrons are all orbiting at the speed of light, and the farther away they get from the nucleus, they they uh, they orbit at slower um, or uh, not slower. They all orbit at the same speed, but they do a, a, a smaller number of orbits. Um, around the nucleus compared to say um, uh, something that is blue that will will go around a certain number of times faster than say something that is red so that's why the orbits are different and we see these uh, certain speeds of uh, particles and they represent different colors when you see something that is green it is uh, representing something a particle that is moving at uh, that particular frequency to make a green uh, color so that so we're seeing particles that are orbiting at that f f uh, that distance or that f uh, frequency. So I don't, uh, it's kind of difficult to explain because my vocabulary really isn't that good. Uh, I don't know too many uh, technical words for all this, but uh, uh, this this kind of makes more sense in my mind because you have gamma rays down here that are uh, vibrating at h very high frequencies. Um, like uh, like is shown here, see the gamma rays are vibrating at very high frequencies, and the radio waves are the low uh, are are low frequencies. So the amount of times that the radio waves uh, go back and forth would be um, would be a smaller number of times than the ones that are going back and forth in this. See, going in a circle, it's going back and forth. It's going this direction, then that direction, then this direction, and then that direction. So it's an alternating path that it's taking. And uh, th that's what it is. It's a, these ones are vibrating faster because they're at smaller orbits. And these ones are vibrating slower because they're at um, uh, larger orbits. But I s they're all going at the same speed, though. They're all going at the speed of light. But just the number of orbits they take is, is smaller the farther away you, 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 uh, get, you go out in the spectrum. So... Okay, <laughs> I'm going to stop there so I don't make this over complicated and start confusing myself. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to fill in the frequencies and, the, and try to fill in the colors. And there should be more higher frequencies above gamma rays and there should be other lower frequencies besides radio waves. But um, I guess we just haven't discovered them yet. But uh, there should be more. I, I doubt there's a limit to these. But uh, okay, just wanted to uh, show this, my new idea for... The electromagnetic spectrum uh, diagram or layout.